Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we are going to be ranking the top 10 best power forwards in NBA 2K25, my team, right now. And I do want to preface this video by saying, number one, this video is entirely my opinion. Number two, it is 4 a.m. as I record this video. So if I miss somebody, it is possible. I'm tired. I apologize. I may have stayed up way too late grinding a showdown hidden gem, and now I'm just like, well, I got to do my videos now because I'm not going to be able to wake up in the morning. So... If you if I miss somebody, feel free to leave a comment. I'll try my best. I will say I did not include like Joel Embiid, um, Kareem, basically the really, really giant guys who are power forward eligible because I think of them more as centers, but everybody else should be on this list. And this is my opinion. Before we hop into it, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 40,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day, tons of consistent daily my team content. Would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. And without further ado, at number 10, we got Diamond Julius Randle. He's 6'8. He's decently affordable. I mean, is he a buyout right now? He should be. If he's not a buyout, he's close to it. He is a buyout. Perfect. Okay, well, this one actually might be a little bit of a snipe as I say that. But um, either way, uh, Julius is about, about a buyout. He's 6'8", so he doesn't have unbelievable size, but he's a good shooter, nice release, solid slasher all the way around, versatile defender, good rebounder, good speed, good agility, good vert, good strength, kind of good at everything. He's like an updated Ruby Shirt updated ruby sharif abdul rahim is kind of how i describe him solid all around badges pretty complete as a base card he's just super duper solid the power forward position has gotten decently deep and i think julius at number 10 is a good indication of that very solid card number nine is going to be amethyst obi top and i really like this card he's six foot nine his release is faster than it looks it's deceptively quick and it's easy to grade he's an elite level slasher he is a very very solid defender in his own right 86 speed 84 agility 95 vert 98 82 strength and 92 stamina honestly i like him a little better than julius because of that increased athletic ability i think that's the main reason i give him a slight edge not quite as complete badge wise but honestly his release is just as good i think the athleticism is a little better plays defense very similar he's an inch taller i think he's basically just as good if not in my opinion a little bit better than obi than uh, julius randall so i put obi at number nine really really nice free card number eight is going to be literally the same card as obi top and except not quite as good of a release but slightly better stats and that is dunk tober Kenyon Martin. He is a slightly better statistical version of Obi outside of a slightly lower three ball. His jumper is not quite as good as Obi's, but I think it's actually decent. It's another one that is a little deceptively quick. He's a little faster than Obi, a little more complete defensively, a little bit better rebounder and badge wise has some more base and total badges. I think he is a slightly better version of Obi Toppin. Basically, they pretty much give you the same thing on the court, but Kmart is the slightly better card. So we'll put him at number eight. Number seven, and I do like this card, is Pascal Siakam. The more I've seen this card the more i like him jumper is fast it's kind of weird but it is fast he's a solid shooter solid dunker very versatile defender good rebounder 86 speed 88 agility 86 vert the low strength is kind of annoying but the eight hoffs kind of makes up for it especially having post lockdown off ball pass interceptor rebound chaser set shot and paper trailer all really really good hall of fame badges there super solid card gets a lot of total badges i think pascal is one of the more versatile all around power forwards in my team but because of his lack of size and because his jumper can be a little janky it's fast but it's a little weird I put him at number seven instead of a little bit higher. Number six is going to be Carl Malone from the Power Surge set. This card came out super early in the year and is yet still a very, very good card. He's 6'9", good shooter, solid release, super athletic, very good defender as well. I feel like he's a better version of Kenyon Martin, basically. Similar stats all the way around, slightly uh, more complete though badge-wise in my opinion. All those badges are similar. I just think similar athletically, a little bit better defensively overall probably. Um, release is very similar. Honestly, just a better version of Kenyon Martin, just like Kmart is a slightly better version of Obi. But I do think I'd put Pascal between them. Either way, uh, I think this bottom five is pretty interchangeable for the most part. Carl, Pascal, Kmart. Mart, Obi, and uh, Julius Randle. All very good cards. Honestly, all pretty similar level cards as well. Number five is going to be Diamond Moses Malone, who came out in the first drop of season two, the Poetry of Motion set. I'm playing this card as my backup center. I think he's very good. I think he can also play power forward at a very high level if you need him to, though. Um, six foot ten. Yes, the three ball rating is low. 63 ball, but he's got a very nice release and he's pretty darn knockdown with rhythm shooting 95 standing and 85 driving dunk 95 block 97 interior 98 rebounding the incredible defense is his best attribute he's a phenomenal inside big um half post lockdown area wizard pogo stick box obvious rebound chaser post power house paint patroller among others now i added some badges to him myself i added slippery off ball and then like break starter and a couple of other defensive badges and things to upgrade moses a bit more i really like moses i think he's very good i think his speed is very much there 
I think he's elite defensively. I think his release is smooth and easy. And I know this may feel a little high for Moses to power forward position because he's not as good of a shooter as the guys below him, but I like the jumper enough where I think it is deserved. And I will say number five feels feels right for Moses Malone. Number four, really good card, pretty affordable as well, is Diamond Al Harrington, a guy you can get for just over 100 KMT most of the time and very complete. 28 total badges, six foot nine, awesome jumper, solid athlete in his own right, um, super solid defender, 88 interiors, pretty darn good, 85 speed, agility, vert, 86 strength, 95 stamina, super solid stats. His jumper is top, top tier. That's the thing that separates him from guys like Randall, Kmart, Obi, et cetera, who are similar statistically, but he also has 28 gold bat 28 total badges which include pretty close to everything you want when you badge them out now keep in mind i do have a badged owl um, with challenger interceptor pogo stick poster as and rise up added but he is a phenomenal phenomenal card very complete honestly even as a base card and i think top five is totally fair for al he's really really good number four is going to be Wait, no, I think Moses was number five. Al was number four. Sorry. So now we're on number three, which is Giannis Antetokounmpo. Giannis is an absolute dog, but the shooting does leave a little bit to be desired. It just does. Now, he's got a billion badges. I mean, as a base card, he's got five, 26, 28, 31 badges. He can get every single badge in the game, except for four. He's got Hoff Paint Patroller, Poster, Azure Post, Lockdown. He's probably the best defensive card on this list, or at least very much arguably so. The jumper is the only real flaw, but the jumper isn't a amazing and the three ball rating is a little low so you can rhythm shoot and can consistently hit with him no doubt about it especially with a couple of shooting badges added but i do think at the same time Giannis is shooting to me anyways leaves a tiny bit to be desired which is why i don't have him top two i know he's awesome i know he's probably some people's favorite cards in the game for me though the way i like to play i think number three is probably the fairest spot for yaya number two is actually going to be a brand new card which is jaron jackson jr from yesterday's top of the class drop power forward or center he's insane i mean 16 10, 92 offense, 99 defense. Honestly, a better version of a guy like Moses Malone. 88 three ball, solid standing and driving dunk. He has half rise up. He's got 97 block, 92 interior, very good rebounder, 87 speed, 85 agility, 87 vert, 90 strength, 95 stamina. Hoff posterizer, rise up, area wizard, post lockdown, interceptor, pogo stick, box up, he's rebound chaser, brick wall, set shot specialist, high flying, and iron paper troller. Fully badged like mine is, he gets 34 total badges, which means he's got every single badge in the game except for six, and basically every single important badge in the game, because honestly, dimer handles for days strong handle all good badges but not really necessary for jaron because he's not playmaking for you anyway and he's got an elite elite release on top of all the amazing badges and stats awesome card i think he's the second best power forward in the game but the best power forward in the game right now in my opinion, is Poetry in Motion, Paulo Boncaro. Now, keep in mind, I also didn't include small forwards. So guys like KD and uh, LeBron are not on this list. LeBron would be very high on this list, but I think of him more as a small forward at this point. Um, so keep that in mind. But Paulo is 88 three ball, 96 driving dunk. Um, amazing stats all the way around. Pretty much 88 plus in every single important area. He is an incredible card. But most importantly with Paulo, he has every single badge in the game literally everyone can get all 40 badges he's got 35 base badges which means if you upgrade and add every badge he literally can do every single thing you would possibly want a card to do at the power forward position and he's got a great release on top of it incredibly athletic this in my opinion is the best power forward in my team right now i think paulo is an absolute top tier card and i think he's got great longevity as well an absolutely elite level card in my team and in my opinion the best power forward in the game so with that being said let me know what y'all think of my list in the comment section down below if you did enjoy the video make sure you hit that like button leave a comment and subscribe i'll be back with more 2k content very very soon and i appreciate you Y'all, base.